Hey, I have a new free app for you to try, which might be interesting for you if you are one, a DMB R1 user, and two, a Crosslight user, and three, a Windows user, but that's implicit if you are using Crosslight. Um, so what I normally do on shows for EQ is I take measurements of all of my systems through their zones, and then I open those up in Crosslight and I do my EQ in Crosslight and then I manually copy over all those filters. Now for small shows that only have one or two zones, maybe main and sub or main and front fills or something like that, and I just do two or three filters per zone, it's not that big a deal. Maybe it only takes five or 10 minutes for me to manually copy those filters over. But for a show like this, which is not even really that big or complex, uh, just 10 zones. And then if there are about, you know, let's say about 10 filters per zone, that's a hundred filters. And I timed myself earlier and it takes me about 18 seconds to um, look at the filter, try to memorize it, and then go over to R1 and then write in those three values. It takes about 18 seconds. So that's about 13 minutes. Uh, that's about 30 minutes. And that's if, you know, I don't make any mistakes and I just go nonstop. Um, so of course it's going to take a little bit longer than that. So I knew I had the show coming up last week in New York City. I knew that this would be a bottleneck for me. And so I made a little command line app to help with this whole procedure because in Crosslight, you can go to functions and then export filter coefficients. And that will give you a text file. And in R1, you can open a kind of text file. It's their own proprietary format, but it's just a text file in XML format. So all I had to do was build a little app that would convert between the two formats. That actually ended up being the easy part. Uh, the hard part is everything else. So if you're interested in using this, let's talk about how you can use it. So you can download it for free over here on my GitHub page. So you go to GitHub, you, you go to this link, you'll open this repo. And then I've written out all the instructions here for you in the readme file. So some things to know, number one, I'm not a windows expert, so there may be better ways to do this stuff. The first thing that's going to happen is that you're going to go to the releases page and you're going to download the executable file. And in my experience, the first thing that windows defends is to immediately delete that file because it thinks that it's a virus. So, you need to figure out how to get it to stop doing that. Uh, in my case, my Windows machine is just for production audio. So I just added exclusions to Windows Defender for the downloads folder and for the program files folder. Um, that may not be the most secure way to handle that issue. So please uh, make smart choices about that. Maybe do a little bit of research for your situation. Anyway, once you get that executable, that's it. You can just run it. You can just run it from the command line. But um, because of another problem with the backslashes in file paths, you need to set up um, a system property so that you can call that executable from any location um, in the command prompt. This is just a one-time setup and then you won't have to worry about it anymore. If you open command prompt as an administrator, then you can just run this single line and you should be good. Once you have all that set up, then here's what you're gonna do. You are going to go to command prompt and then navigate to the folder that contains that Crosslight file that you exported from Crosslight. So let's step through this. So first thing I did here was just to call help. So once you have that system property set up, then you should just be able to open command prompt and run Crosslight R1 EQ from anywhere. So if you run Crosslight R1 EQ help, then you should see all of this help text here that tells you how to run the app. 
so the next thing you need to do is to navigate to the folder that contains the file. So you, you can see me uh, making mistakes here because I don't know how to do things in Windows, but eventually I figured it out. Okay, so eventually I got to that folder and then if you just have one text file, the easiest thing to do is just to run convert directory and then this is this period means here. So basically everything in the directory, it will find all of the text files in that directory and then attempt to make convert each of the channels EQ settings into an RPC file. So you can see it's done that here. It says, hey, I converted your main left, center, main right, relay upstage, relay downstage, all of my zones into these files. And so I should be able to go back to R1, click open, um, navigate to the, so I think it made, yeah, it made another folder called CGI. So I should be able to open main left and there we go. There's all of my filters. And then you might just want to, you know, go back to cross light and confirm that these are actually the correct filters. But I did this earlier today, so I have some confidence that this is working correctly. And now this is much faster to just convert that file and then go in here and open each of them in R1 than it is to manually copy and paste them. And this is especially important if you're someone like me that tends to work quickly and make mistakes. And so if you ever make mistakes, now it'll be a lot faster to go back into Crosslight, export the thing again, open the file here, and so if you ever make mistakes like, you know, adding filters to the wrong output or, you know, the wrong filter parameter somehow, then it'll be a lot quicker to fix. If you like this, let me know. Um, because I realize this is this is not ideal, right? Like I could make a but much better user experience. I just did this command line interface because... Uh, I wanted to try it, but also I thought it would be just the easiest, quickest way to get this out there so that, first of all, I could use it on the show, which I did, by the way, and it was very helpful. And second of all, so that other people like you could use it. Um, but if you like this and you want to use it more, I could develop this into something easier to use, either as a web app um, or some other way that's local where you don't have to jump through as many hoops. Um, but also I think I might like to build this functionality into the console assistant app that I've been working on called console whisperer. So if you're watching this sometime in the future, uh, and this app hasn't been updated for a while, then take a look at console whisperer because maybe I have added the functionality there. So yeah, let me know what you think about this. This is the kind of assistance that I feel like I need more of on shows, doing these kind of manual conversions to aid in interoperability between these different apps that I use uh, in production. Okay, thanks for taking a look and look forward to your questions and suggestions. Thanks. thanks.